What's up? Welcome to a new episode of Filmmaking Friday. Today we're going to talk all about image resolutions. Filmmaking Friday. Welcome back. Today we're going to dive into the world of image resolutions and how you can choose the right one for your project. Before we get into 4K versus 1080p, let's quickly talk about what resolution actually is. In simple terms, image resolution refers to the number of pixels that make up a picture on your screen. More pixels means a sharper, more detailed image. When we talk about 1080p, we're talking about 1920 by 1080 pixels, so about 2 million pixels in total. On the other hand, when we refer to 4K, we're usually talking about 3840 by 2160 pixels, so about 8 million pixels, which is not double, but four times the amount of 1080p. First, let's talk about 1080p resolution, so full HD. It has, again, 1920 by 1080 pixels and has been a standard resolution for years now. 1080p offers a good balance between image quality and file size. It's easier to work with in post-production because the file size are smaller, requiring less storage and processing power. 1080p even nowadays is a widely used standard on YouTube for live streaming and television. It's still the go-to choice for many even big content creators because of its manageable file size and quality. While 1080p still looks good on most screens, it doesn't provide the same level of detail as 4K. Next, let's talk about 4K resolution, which again has 3840 times 2160 pixels, which is four times the amount of Full HD. 4K delivers incredible detail and clarity, making it great for projects where high image quality is crucial, such as professional video work, cinematic films, and commercial projects. Even if you're not planning to deliver your final video in 4K, but only in 1080p, 4K gives you the huge advantage to crop or zoom in during post-production without losing much quality. However, 4K files are significantly larger, which means you'll need way more storage space and more powerful hardware to edit the footage smoothly, which on the other hand can be dealt with by using proxies. I've also made a tutorial about that in the past, Right here. But of course, that's also one more step during the post production process. And it can also drain your camera's battery faster. However, you'll see 4K used in movies, high end commercials, and streaming platforms like Netflix and YouTube. It's quickly becoming the standard for professional content creation. If you're working on projects where a high quality is required, and you also want to future-proof your footage, 4K is a great choice. But before you decide on the resolution, it's important to know that 4K is not 4K and 1080p is not 1080p. Factors like sensor size, compression and bitrate play a huge role in delivering high-quality footage. A camera with a larger sensor, such as a full-frame camera, will usually produce better 4K footage than a smartphone with a tiny sensor. The larger sensor captures more light and detail, resulting in higher quality. This also means that a professional camcorder like an older Canon C100 Mark II shooting only 1080p can deliver a way better or cinematic result than your 4K shooting GoPro or iPhone. Higher compression can reduce the quality of 4K footage, making it look less detailed than well shot 1080p with a high bitrate. Always consider the bitrate and codec used by your camera. And of course, editing and color grading can also affect the final look of your footage. But again, having higher resolution footage gives you more flexibility in post-production. So which resolution should you choose? If your budget and hard drive space allows it, I would always go for the highest image resolution possible. Of course, also taking into consideration the frame rate you want to shoot, because on most cameras, if you want to shoot at a higher frame rate, you have to drop down with the image quality. So if you want to shoot a clip in 120 FPS and you can't shoot it in 4K, so you have to drop down to full HD, but it's maybe even just one clip in the project, of course, go for the lower frame rate. But in other cases, again, 4K gives you more options for cropping, editing, and future-proofing your content. The only time I would intentionally shoot in a lower resolution, maybe even 720 or 480p, is if I have a stylized music video, short film project or a commercial, where I want to create, for example, an old camcorder look, that's where I would go for it. But in any other cases, I would opt for the higher resolution. But remember, the resolution is just one factor. Make sure your camera's sensor size, lens quality and recording settings are also on a high standard to achieve the best quality footage. Now that's it for today's video. I hope you found it informative and useful. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. In the next one, we're going to talk about going hand in hand with this video, sensor sizes. So see you there.